while running my Hogwarts Expresses around the garden just to check out, check them out, check the um, regaging of the Hornby one. Well, I didn't need to check out the uh, Lionel one, I knew what it did. But I did notice that the Lionel one has this regenerative, well, whatever it is, slow braking. Uh, so that as you turn the control to stop, then it doesn't stop straight away, but takes a little while to stop. Whereas the Hornby one stops more quickly. Uh, but the other big difference is that this is that the original Lionel one uh, has very coarse speed control. So it uh, doesn't have the same. Oh, no, 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 no. It starts off more slowly. It will run more slowly uh, and then not go quite as fast. Whereas the Hornby one, the newer version, stops more quickly. It doesn't have that uh, braking as much. It doesn't stop dead, but you'll see it in the video coming up. But the other thing is, uh, in position one, it's going much faster, so it's uh, got a, a greater speed. But once it started going, you've got more control of the speed from its running uh, in terms of, it seems to be finer speed steps. That's roughly it. But the biggest difference that's noticeable is the braking, which I'll show you in this little running video. The other things about the speed steps is very minor. A minor difference between these two locos is that the braking on the green one, the original Lionel one, is much uh, smoother than on the new one. Look at that. So that is uh, pretty responsive to the controller in terms of going backwards and forwards. Uh, so it's got a lot better speed control. I, I need to update the batteries on the other one. Okay. But if I do something similar with the other loco, then uh, you'll get an idea of what I mean. So here we are, full forward. It's going downhill, of course. Full reverse. Right. Oops, I think that one might be coming off. Right. Full forwards. See how it slows down gradually? Changes direction. And then comes full forwards. Here we go, full stop. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. The sun's going in, it's a very patchy day. Uh, and that's just a little bit of running of these two locos. Let's move them to the place where it's easier for me to mount and demount them from the track. And when they both get to the same point, Bring the other one back now. Far more realistic in terms of its response to the controller. That's the one that's not being re-gauged. Coming back. Come on, just so I can end the video. There we go, folks. Two Hogwarts Expresses. And the re-gauge one, fortunately, is getting around my track quite nicely, thank you.